Hey guys, this is Shimo34. Welcome back to another showcase video. Today I'll be showing you my custom Lego Indiana Jones from the um, series Indiana Jones. Those movies are amazing. You should watch me if you haven't already. But yeah, I grew up with this character as a kid. I've always dreamed of making him, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's get on with this showcase video. Alright, so Indiana Jones, um, top to bottom. This, the hat, was regular Lego cowboy hat that I painted some dark brown on the strap because as is accurate to the film. Um, a little bit of yellow there. Hold on. Yeah, and the, the head <laughs> was the regular Lego Indiana Jones head. The smiling one, um, and in order to have hair underneath the hat, this is gonna look funny. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's balding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I painted the hair all the way around to make it look like he has hair underneath the hat. But oh my god, this looks so funny. <laughs> but yeah, just ignore my dog in the background. Background. Um. The satchel was the Lego Indiana Jones satchel. I painted the bottom like a like a worn out gold because his satchel does have like the actual pouch part in the, like a gold color, and I painted some silver right there to represent the buckle. So it was scratched, scratched, um, scratched off. I cannot English today, but yeah. And there's the back. Um, nothing on the back of the torso. Um, except for I painted the brown. Dark brown. I painted the front dark brown too. I painted the black pockets. This one covered up by a satchel. Um, on each side. And um, just get this all the way. On the arms, there are some regular dark brown arms. I painted the inside white because it does have like um, a white shirt on. As you can see on the torso, I painted on the white onto the dark brown torso. I painted on the skin right there. I painted some um, dark gray around there. Hold on, I'm just gonna take the satchel off of him, and we're just gonna have a headless Indiana Jones. I'm stalling, but oh my god, stupid god. Um, yeah, I painted the that line right there, um, in dark gray too, and I paint and I outlined some um dark gray pockets. And I painted some silver buttons, because I have buttons on the shirt. And I painted it in white on the pockets. Um, some white spilled over right there. I might fix that. Um, but, yeah. And I, um, some regular dark tan legs. I painted the whole, like, belt part of the legs in dark brown. Man, I have to, I have to fix a lot of things about this figure. Everything's scratching off. I have to get this. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking to myself. Um, I painted on the belt. Like, um, like, part <laughs> there. And I painted on the gun, um, like, pouch. It's not the right size, but something. Um, but yeah, that was a pain in the butt. Now I can't move that leg. But yeah, and I painted on some dark brown, um, shoes. I'm gonna go all the way around the legs. Um, and yeah, the whip that I had earlier, that was super annoying. This is the Lego Catwoman whip. I didn't use the Indiana Jones whip because it is, I don't know, I just like this one better. That's the Indiana Jones one. And no changes to that. And also no changes to the gun, Lone Ranger gun that I got from Lone Ranger sets. No changes to that, just like a revolver. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Indiana Jones. If you haven't seen the movie, definitely watch them. Um, as they are amazing. I grew up watching them as a child. Um, and yeah, they are definitely worth the time. Um, I am stalling. Don't watch the fourth one. It's, it's bad. <laughs> Just don't, don't watch it. How much CGI, CGI crap. But yeah, pretty much it for my Indiana Jones. Not putting on the whip, because that's a pain in the butt, but yeah. Um, pretty much it. And let's conclude this showcase video. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my custom... Lego, um, Indiana Jones minifigure. I think he's pretty cool. 
um, some spots I'm not so proud of, but what can I do? Um, well, I can paint over, but I had to get this video out, okay? I had to get this video out, okay? I think it was pretty good, okay? Um, just ignore that. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, um, this figure was actually supposed to be part of my futuristic series for 2017, but I didn't make it in time for the end of January, so might as well finish this figure, and that's why I made this video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Watch the movies if you haven't; they're incredible. Um, except for the fourth one. Um, but yeah, pretty much it. And I'll uh, see you guys later.